For September's TBR, I decided to shatter your expectations. This month is a time for pumpkin spice lattes and wholesome romance novels. But this year, I just couldn't do it. Henry couldn't do it. I just have this rampant need to be different. <laughs> so, this month, we're spinning a wheel. Now, at the moment, I don't have a physical spinning wheel. That's partially because one costs like $40, and also because I don't have enough time to ship it to me before this video comes out. We'll be doing it the old-fashioned way, the internet. Here are the options on the wheel. We got genres like dark romance, mystery, and a couple of fun ones like read a new author or let my friend choose my book. But I've dilly-dallied enough. Let's spin the wheel. I just really hope we don't spin cozy romance because I just said I was going to read something different. But, but, <gasps> Barnes & Noble staff choice. This is a little bit too on brand for me, but uh, we, we do have a problem. I don't have anywhere to go to Barnes & Noble between now and when this video comes out. A compromise is in order. We're gonna head on to the Barnes & Noble monthly picks. I promise next time I'll do better. A pinky promise. Okay, we got one dark window, this crazy edition of it, but I wanna save that for October because it seems kind of like more Halloween vibes. Dreadful has a cool cover. I like the covers. I'm, I'm noticing this trend of books having sprayed edges now. I'm not complaining. I like sprayed edges, but uh, what, what else do we got? I never read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I heard that one pretty good the house in the cerulean sea i've heard it's good dragonfall masters of death cersei these are all really good picks i like the covers of the myrtle books um i will say this one this one's caught my attention assistant to the villain this one has been heavily recommended to me and i know the sequel just came out i saw it in the store the other day is this is this the pick is this the pick the purple cover is calling to me i'm not gonna lie to you this book takes great many boxes humor horror fantasy romance okay i like those i like those things limited first print run you put limited in front of something and I kind of start needing it. Oh, it looks good. Okay, okay, you know what? Assistant to the Villain will be our first September TBR pick, okay? I know some people are going to be very happy about this. I had a lot of people ask me to read it last month. So, the time is finally here. Now, we have more wheel to spin. All right, let's stay away from Cozy. Come on, let's chant with me. Stay away from Cozy. Stay away from Cozy. We're past Cozy. Friend okay, that's... What? Which one's it going to be? It's, it's right on the line, bro. It is. Do you see that? That is right on the line. Friend's choice. This is kind of unfortunate for me because I know exactly who I have to call and I know exactly what book they're going to say. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Hi. Hi. So what, what book? What book do I have to read? I'll give you, I'll give you two choices. Really? Yeah. So this is the one that we both agreed to read at the same time, but Sam, mm. you know, you've gotten the way. Mm. That's five broken blades, right? Correct. I was able to read half the book in like a day. What's the other option you're giving me? From Blood and Ash. I have been telling Ooh. you to read this book for Ooh. a long time. That's a good pick, and I know... Oh. I can't, I can't choose that, though. I have to do five broken blades because I want to do the From Blood and Ash graphic audiobook, and only the first <laughs> part is out right now. So I would pick that normally, and people are going to be mad at me for not picking that, but I have to do Five Broken Blades. I mean, fair. And you also agreed that we would have read Five Broken Blades at the same time, and yet I beat you. Well, I don't know. Do you have the receipts? Do you have the proof? We have the receipt from the same exact day, buddy. We do have literal receipts from receipts. Indigo Books. <laughs> uh, your wish is my command. I will read Five Broken Blades. Uh, a month and a half late. Well, you better like text me updates on like okay. what parts of the book you get to and whatnot. I will. I will consider texting you updates on parts of the book. Bro. That I get <laughs> Now, what do I know about Five Broken Blades? Honestly, nothing. At least when I bought it, nothing. I'm not ashamed to admit, but I bought this book for purely selfish and vain reasons. I don't think I even read the blurb when I purchased this book. I love this book's personality cool cover pretty edges same publisher as fourth wing you already know i was sold and the back has thorns and says let the best liar win like what am i supposed to do when i see this on the shelf what am i supposed to do not buy it you're kidding i have since read the blurb and it's about five assassins taking down a corrupt king and there's romance according to goodreads at least that being said goodreads also lists a court of silver flames as a young adult so but i do have high hopes for this book because i've heard very good things and the book too deluxe is already up for pre-order with more sprayed edges so i'm really hoping that once i read this book i have a reason to get this book that isn't just vain and shallow and selfish i'm kind of wanting mystery now because i want an excuse to read the next inheritance games book but 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 I will, I'll take that too. I'll take that. This is going to be a tough pick. There are so many series that I want to continue. I want to continue Scythe. I really like the first Scythe book. The Inheritance Games. I'm really, really, really enjoying the Inheritance Games. That book single-handedly might get me into contemporary. I could do the Wicked King from the Folk of the Air. So many options. But there is one that I have to do. Throne of Glass, but not Kingdom of Ash. This is just the prettiest one I have, so I wanted to 
show it off. It's finally time for me to read Queen of Shadows. We are continuing the mother of fantasy. Well, at least book talk, bookstagram fantasy. The real mother of fantasy is probably like the Wizard of Earthsea or something. If you're coming here from Instagram, you probably know I wasn't actually a big fan of Throne of Glass until Era of Fire, but Era of Fire was amazing and to be honest, made up for the first few books. And, and get this, Henry, come here. I've been told the Queen of Shadows have eyes. What, what do you mean you can't hear me? I've, I've been told that Queen of Shadows have eyes. Are you intentionally ignoring me? Queen of Shadows is even better. Men don't listen. I am a little bit scared though. No spoilers, but at the end of Air of Fire, Selena leaves behind a particular character that I really, really like. One of the biggest reasons for me enjoying that book, to be honest, except for Manon. God, I love that woman. And you know what, to be honest, if we get more Manon chapters, I'll be perfectly fine. This is another one of those books that I have very high expectations for. And if it doesn't deliver, I, I might have to DNF Throne of Glass. I'm kidding, I would never do that. I would never do that. I mean, come on, I didn't buy the original cover of Kingdom of Ash for nothing. I have to at least read it. I am worried about Tower of Dawn, though I'm not looking forward to Tower of Dawn. I'm rambling, okay? It's time to go back to the wheel. Spin it, spin it, spin it. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me... Yes, I'll take that. I will take that. I know I'm 20, but I enjoy a lot of middle grade books. Like I've preached about Keeper of the Lost Cities all the time to you guys. And I cannot wait for Unravel in November. Keith is my favorite character, man. Oh my God. But I recently read those, so I don't want to go back to them quite yet. Instead, I need to visit my childhood. This is the moment I've been waiting for. And by waiting for, I mean, I didn't even think about it until this exact moment. I have the perfect pick. It's time for a Percy Jackson reread. Arthur, do you hear that? Percy Jackson reread. He's so cute. Okay, run along, go do your cat things. I haven't read these since middle school. It's funny too, because I recently got copies of the Kane Chronicles. I was a really big fan of these as well. Still haven't gotten around to rereading these, but come on, Percy Jackson gets first dibs. Greek mythology will always win. This is the series that got me into reading, like really got me into reading. You know how people talk about when they gain consciousness as children? This was my gained consciousness moment for reading. I remember walking through the school halls, leaving the choir room. I did choir, I know. Does that make me a theater kid? I, 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 does that make me a theater kid? No, no, I'm concerned. I remember walking through that hall holding Titan's Curse in my hands. So, it's time. And then I might watch the new show because I haven't actually gotten around to watching it yet. Do you guys want me to make videos on Instagram for Percy Jackson? It might be a long shot because I was just making videos about a smutty book, but you know, doesn't hurt to ask. Okay, I have to admit something to you guys. We do have to include a book that was not on the spinner. The Night Circus. This was the book that my book club voted for September. And I have to admit, out of all of our options, this was the one I was least interested in. I'm not really a big fan of the whole circus setting, except for like The Grey Showman. Great movie. Love that. But I am prepared to eat these words. I am ready to make an apology video next month titled yeah yeah it was pretty good so i will read this book with honor integrity and drive i am ready to enter the world of the night circus what is it even about i don't think i ever read the blurb to be honest with you the night circus okay let's see the circus arrives without warning no announcements precede it that's kind of cool actually duel Celia and Marco tumble headfirst into love. A deep magical love that makes the lights flicker and the room grow warm whenever they so much as brush hands. Romance? Nobody told me this is a romance. That cover does not scream romance. There might be hope for it yet. If it's romance, I'll, I'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> if you are interested in joining the book club either this month or another, it's hosted on Discord, which you can find in the description. I have to apologize to you all. I didn't get to finish my entire August TBR. Now, as of recording this video, I'm currently reading The Inheritance games and i should have it done before september probably tomorrow to be honest i am loving it it is so good like i said earlier i might become a contemporary fanboy now it reminds me of ready player one a little bit and i love ready player one so i think it's just really tickling that tickle spot but we got sidetracked i have not been able to get to six of crows i know i know i read the first chapter and it was very good and i'm gonna make it up to you by reading it yep is, is is that enough to make it up to you? My excuse is that I wanted to do a reading vlog for it, so I kept on avoiding reading it when I couldn't record, and I've been really busy, so I haven't had a lot of chances to record. So I haven't had a lot of chances to read it. Yeah, poor excuse, I know. I'll add it to the September TBR, okay? I'm pretty excited for this month's TBR. I'm kind of always excited for every month's TBR. I am kind of bummed though, because there's a couple sequels that I really wanted to read, but I gotta get through Throne of Glass. I wanna finish it by 2025. That's my goal, so. Lots to read, lots coming in September. I got plans, guys. I've been having a great time making these weekly videos. And because of you guys, I got to interview the author of When the Moon Hatched. That's actually the reason this video is a couple days late. And I'll be making that interview into a YouTube video as well, so look forward to that. But if you wanna watch me live, you can check me out on Twitch in the description. We chat about books, hang out, play games, the whole shebang. And you can find me here every Friday. So until next time, deuces.